What is this? I was gonna eat a chip, but I don't know now. I'm holding it, and it looks it looks like it's disgusting. It's crumb key. To those who heed a darker. Whoa! It's eating its flesh, and then it exploded. Blood, guts, all over the place. Those bold enough to cross the line of sin. Okay, I, 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 deeper knowledge. I want to eat this chip, but I, I don't. Who follow an unquenchable <clears throat> yearning? Because I'm trying to figure out what this is. Blood and bone. To unlock the forbidden Whoa. secrets. And Performing some weird ritual on this guy? I don't think so, man. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna eat this chip. No, I, I don't know. I don't know if I... Should I eat it? I'm scared to eat it. Okay, I'll eat it. To truly embrace this power, you must take it into the world. Not bad. Not bad. And you will be shot. Not bad at all. Scorned. Scorned. Marked. Marked. As a living sacrifice to this profane living knowledge. sacrifice. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm so confused what this is. You will be a priest of Rathma. Of who? Who are you? A necromancer. Wait. Necromancer. You will not confront the darkness alone. Is it Diablo? Speakers of the dead. And the dead have no mercy. You might be Diablo. You might be right. Yeah! There it is. It is Diablo. Yo, that was Diablo 4? Here I am eating chips during Diablo 4 like an idiot. I knew it looked intriguing. I knew it looked intriguing. Sorry guys, I, I was hungry, okay? And seeing that head get chopped off, I mean... I needed to film my song, song. New class, Necromancer, that's cool. I'm very excited to announce our okay. fifth and final class. Wow. The Necromancer. Yeah. The commander of the undead who joins the other iconic classes around the campfire in Diablo 4. Okay, I'm gonna finish this include the bit. mighty barbarian, the elemental sorceress, the crafty rogue, and the powerful druid. And you'll okay. want them because the demon Lilith, the daughter of hatred, she has looks returned intense. and spreading corruption and evil She's as returned. she fights to reclaim our dark gothic world as her own. And it's up to you to stop her. Me? Now, Diablo 4 is the culmination of the 25-year history of the franchise. So I gotta play Building one, on two. Top of the best I only that's played come three so far. With some, you know, unique twists all its own. Mm. So let's dig a little deeper by watching, for the first time I might add, gameplay? some Xbox Series X gameplay. Okay. Well, hearing from a few okay. of the many people behind the game. All right. I'm down. I'm down with some gameplay. Yep. Everything you see was captured on Xbox Diablo Series X. Is the next Diablo 4, baby. Action RPG. Let's go. Melding. It looks sick. Oh, man. And loot collecting with a fully realized open world. That looks sick. I loved 3. Frank can attest to it. Me and Frank played 3 nerving. on the it's Switch. Easy. Mind you, but still. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. Bro. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate That's in sick. modern games. That's so sick. Whoever you see yourself being, you <clears throat> can create in Diablo 4. You can completely customize your, your characters? It's include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. Hmm. Okay. It allows you to switch wow. around your playstyle as well. That's really cool, man. It looks so good. Everything feels very powerful and fun. I should probably go play two real quick before three, uh, four comes out. One maybe, really maybe cool one, two, but we'll see. Your journey that you take throughout Diablo Four. We'll see if we have time or not. I, I don't know. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. How much? There's all kinds of surprises. That sounded like a lot of dungeons. Boring. That sounded like a lot of dungeons. Strongholds are an enemy wow. territory that you need to reclaim. 
Bro, like even for like a top-down kind of game, it looks really good graphically. But after you've cleared it, it looks out, insane. The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Sometimes it's a new town. Sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get, and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world, and then a local event will pop up, and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these, like, giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people, and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen. That's insane, dude. Trying to take this big monster. This game looks down. absolutely it's, huge, it's man. Yeah, it is epic, man. Big, big fights in this game. It's so easy. That is so cool. Community. It makes Diablo more wow. of a social experience. 150 you dungeons, got fully huh? enable crossplay. If you That's have insane, an Xbox dude. and your buddy has a PC, yeah. you're going to be able to group up. Nice! Crossplay. Two people on a couch can sit there and have okay. a great experience. That We've looks sick. Specific zones where When's it come out, though? PvP. When's it come out? You go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. Okay. If okay. You're like really, really good. The game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata, and everyone wants to chase you down. Oh, that's sick. End game. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. <clears throat> Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to wow. get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons, that's crazy. Or new paragon boards. Wow. Every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new that's stuff nuts. for you to experience. That's a cool move, just spinning. And it's something we're going to support for that's years nuts. to come. For years, huh? Okay. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Imagine just if to see millions of imagine people if really Diablo was more like first person. Options. Through the campaign, local that'd be events, trippy. Couch co op, he would probably hate that PvP, because we're used to this, it though. Doesn't end. Wow, and we are so close. How close? When's it coming out? Did they already announce the uh release date? I can't remember. I don't know. I feel like they didn't. I just don't remember. 2023, okay, next year, which is perfect because hopefully by then the Xbox and Activision, um, you know. Uh, acquisition will go through. <laughs> That's sick. Y'all, yeah, I'm hyped. That looks amazing. That looks amazing.